Hi everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to make this tool grabbing system so that when you get close to an, a uh, tool you'll be able to press E on it and pick it up. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files from my very first tutorial to my latest one, including the one you're watching right now, they are all available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. So, there are three things we need our grabbing system to do, and the first one is be able to press a key to pick up the item, and the second one is to be able to only pick up the item once so that you don't end up with 10 of the same items in your inventory, and the third one is have the option to either leave the item when it's picked up or destroy it so that other players can't pick it up. So what I'm going to do is firstly get some tools. So I'm going to go to the toolbox, go to the models, and I'm going to just look up... Uh, I'm, I'm actually just going to take this classic sword. I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to get this classic sword and drag it to the workspace. And I'm going to zoom in by pressing F. And as you can see, I can't really select it right now. And that's because it's locked. So I'm going to select the handle. And I'm going to go to the locks property and turn it off. And now, as you can see, I, I will be able to drag it around. And what I'm going to do next is get, create a model of the sword. So what I'm going to do is basically take all of the physical parts from the uh, sword. And don't take any scripts and other stuff like that. Just take the handle and other parts if it's welded and we're going to copy all of those parts so i'm going to right click copy and i'm going to add a model to the workspace and i'm going to call it uh the name of the sword make sure that it's named exactly what the sword or what the item is named so classic sword and i'm going to right click paste into and now we have a handle pasted into the uh into the model now what i'm going to do is select my classic sword model and i'm going to go to the primary part click it and click on the handle now if your tool has multiple parts in it let's say i want to attach a random part to this okay let's say i want to attach this one to this what i'm going to do is make sure that the primary part which is the actual handle you can rename it to primary part by the way primary part i'm going to make sure that it's that it's anchored that it's anchored and i'm going to select the other part and then make sure that it is that it is actually you don't need to weld anything i'm really sorry about that so basically just drag all the parts put them inside of that and i'm going to select the model now and i'm going to add a folder to the workspace and i'm going to call it grabbable tools and i'm going to drag my classic sword model not the actual tool inside of the grabbable tools now what I'm going to do next is just get the actual sword model and add a folder inside of replicator storage and I'm going to call it tools. And this is the actual tool, not the tool model, so drag it inside of the tools folder. And what I'm going to do next is, is uh, I'm going to position this, so I'm going to put it right here, I'm going to rotate it, put it here. And what I'm going to do is add a bool value and it's going to be called destroy on pick pick up and i'm going to either have this on true or false so if it's true it will get removed when it's picked up so that other players cannot pick it up uh, and when it's false it will not get destroyed so i'm going to keep it at false and i'm going to add a server script inside of server script service and i'm going to rename it to uh grab grabbing or tool pick up and now what i'm going to do is just get a get a service so i'm going to get replicated storage replicated storage and it's going to be game come on get service replicated storage and then i'm going to drop a line and i'm going to create a reference to the grabbable tools so look at grabbable tools is equal to and workspace dot grabbable tools and the reason why i am not using wait for child is because we are doing this on the server and on the server you don't really need a wait for child and what i'm going to do next is create a reference to the actual tools tools folder inside of replicated storage so local tools is equal to and replicated storage dot tools and what i'm going to do next is create a function called grab tool and that's going to take in the player 
and the tool or maybe tool model and I'm going to have a function here called setup so local function setup and I'm just inside of the function setup what I'm going to do is just loop through all of the tools so for underscore comma tool in pairs grabbable tools go and get children do so what we are doing is going through every single tool inside of the grabbable tools folder and what i'm going to do is check if it is a model so if tool colon is a model pretty simple and what we're going to do if it's a model then we're going to check if it has a primary part so if tool on find first or okay so if tool dot primary part is not equal to nil then uh else print uh, you forgot or maybe no primary part primary part set and in here what I'm going to do is create a proximity prompt so local proximity prompt is equal to instance dot new proximity prompt and what I'm going to do is proximity prompt dot name is equal to prompt and proximity prompt dot um, action text is equal to grab and proximity prompt dot uh, object text is equal to uh, nil so just an empty string and proximity prompt dot requires line of sight is equal to false and proximity prompt dot okay what else do we need all right so the whole duration now i want that to be 0 0.5 and proximity prompt dot key dot keyboard key code is equal to enum dot keyboard keyboard Okay, what is this? So, dot key code dot maybe. Okay, so I want E. You could have that at something else. So maybe you want R. You could do that too, but I'm going to keep it at E. And proximity prompt. Uh, okay, dot parent is equal to and tool dot primary part. And the next thing I'm going to do is drop a line and proximity prompt dot triggered. Call and connect function. And that's going to take the player. And we're gonna call the grab tool function. So grab tool player, and it's also going to take the tool model. So the tool. All right. So what I'm going to do here is check if player if player dot backpack on find first child, or actually if not player dot backpack on find first child first child uh, tool model dot name. And not player dot character on find first child uh, tool model dot name then and the reason why we are also checking if the, if uh, we don't have a tool in the character is because of this so if I just go ahead go to go play the game I'm going to get a classic sword give it to myself so I'm going to give it to myself to the backpack and now it should spawn with a classic sword. And I'm going to make sure to mute because there's a very, very loud sound that plays whenever I equip it. And what's going to happen is when I equip it. So right now, okay, watch this. So I have a classic sword inside of my backpack. But if I equip it, it will be gone from my backpack and it will be dragged to the character. Now, in order to prevent the bugs, we also need to check if it's not already equipped. So we're going to do that, and we've just done that here. And if this is true, then what I'm going to do is just do local real tool is equal to uh, tools, call find first child tool model dot name, call clone. And real tool dot parent is equal to player dot backpack dot back pack now if you want the player to respawn with the tool instead of parenting it to the backpack i'm going to do this and we are also going to copy this and i'm going to call it real tool starter pack and just do this so local real tool starter pack is equal to tools con for shelter tool model dot name con clone and instead of parenting it to the backpack we're going to also parent it to the starter gear is it called starter gear I think so. Okay, let's see. I think it's called starter gear. Yes. And I'm also going to make sure to change this to starter gear. 
so local real tool starter gear and what i'm going to do next is okay so we have that done and what i'm going to do is check if that value that we added earlier called destroy on pickup we're going to check if that's set to true and what i'm going to do is if tool model if tool model uh confined first child destroy on pickup dot value is equal equal to true then what i'm going to do is tool model on destroy all right so that should work so if i go ahead and play the game right now and get close to one of these i'm going to check the player and we don't see a proximity prompt and that is very simple to fix and it's because we have not called the setup function so i'm just going to go down here and call the setup function play the game now and we're going to see if this works so no errors yet so i'm going to go to my player and as you can see now we do see a grab icon right here and it says e so i'm going to hold this and as you can see now i just got myself a uh, classic sword also was there a very loud sound okay no now if i reset my character i should be able to respawn with it because it's parented to the starter gear and yes i am able to respawn with it and what i'm going to do now is check if i will be able to take it again and no i can't and if i equip it as you can see we cannot grab it again but what i'm going to do now is uncheck the destroy is check the destroy on pickup uh value and if i play the game now well if i get close to this it will get destroyed when i pick it up so other players can't also pick it up so if i go to server view as you can see there is no classic sword anymore all right so this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye